I mean, I'm, I'm going live on two vices. Hi, everyone. How are we doing? This is Tanya Peel with Zen Appeal. Uh, we are here getting ready to do a 30 minute practice today. Um, let's get started. All right, let's get started on the mat. <clears throat> so, before I came into practice today, like with any practice, you want to uh, limit how much food that you actually put inside of the body. Because you don't want to get to the mat with a full belly uh, when you're trying to do all these twists and uh, things like that because it's not going to feel good, right? You don't want to have uh, uh, something uh, uh, uncomfortable come up when you're trying to practice, right? So anyway. So something to think about maybe next time, or maybe just take it a little bit lighter today if you happen to come to the mat with uh, something inside the building. Right. So we're just going to start at the top of the mat. Let me scoot back a little bit more. Okay. So just start to move inside. Just take a, a note of the body from the crown of the head down to the toes. How you feel today? I feel like my mat's crooked. <laughs> That's one thing. Let me get further away. <laughs> Sorry about that. A little discombobulated today. So what you find at the top of the mat? together, maybe spread out the toes, pull the belly in, feel the spine tall, shoulders back and down, and we'll simply take the hands of the head. Nice breath in and out the nose. Hold on again, big breath. When you're ready, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold all the way down, find toes or maybe the shins, whatever works today. Right leg back and down, inhale. Left leg back, dog pose, exhale. Classical sun salutes, inhale, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, rise up. Exhale back, downward facing up. Just think of breathe. And we'll probably take about three breaths. Ready to move, right leg forward, left knee down, and move. Left leg forward, fold, exhale. Inhale, rise up. Some last thing. Just trying to shake it out. I feel things within my mind and my body starting to show up right now. Come back to center, inhale, reach up, lean back. Exhale, hold. Right leg back and down, inhale. Left leg back, dog pose, exhale. Inhale, plank. Knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, send this way. Remember three breaths. Left leg forward, fold, exhale. Inhale, rise up. Namaste. Starting to feel my body soften. That was just the second one. 
We go again, inhale, reach up, and exhale, fold. Right leg back and down, inhale. Left leg back, dog pose, exhale. Knee inhale, plank. Knees, chest, and chin, exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, back, breathe. Remember, three breaths. Left knee down, inhale. Left leg forward, fold, exhale. Rise up, inhale, reach. Slim us in. One more. Inhale, reach up, lean. Exhale, fold. Right leg back and down and in. Left leg back, dog pose, exhale. Inhale, plank. Knees, chest, and chin, exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, back. Breathe. Get ready to move. Right leg forward, left knee down, inhale. Left leg forward, fold, exhale. Reaching up, inhale up, lean back. Come on, I see. Space in between the feet, hip with distance, parallel feet. Take breath, fold forward, peace fingers wrap around the big toes. Flat back into lift. Elbows out, bellies in, chin to chest, fold. Remember, we'll take about three breaths each movement. Inhale, lift up the chest. Exhale, release the big toes. We're let the toes point out. Right toes, right, left toes, left. Reverse the palms. Yeah. And step on your hands if you can. If you can't step on the hands, don't worry about it. Just move it to the second pose. We're going to move it to Malasana pose here. So we bend the knees and let the hips drop down. So just take the leg portion. Don't worry about the hands. So we sit here, tall spine. And then the arm is here, pulls my hips uh, closer to the earth. So I feel a little bit more hip space here. Over just three breaths. Lengthen the legs, flat back, inhale. Release the hands, close the door, release the feet come together. Moving to fold and let the hands draw behind the back, palms together. Interlace the fingers, extend out the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades together, chin into the chest, relax the neck here. Hands down to the earth, flat back, inhale. Exhale, right leg. Step back. Move into full lunge. Pull the belly in, release. Find balance, interlace the fingers. Take this up and back, little lean back. Try to lengthen the leg line, right? 
the torso leaning back, more stretch, so as hip flexor group. Lengthen. Hands on the inside of the front leg. So from here, I'm actually going to drop this down. So I'm just going to slide my shoulder on the inside of the leg. So I'll get a little bit of winging of the knee moving off to the side, but that's it. I'm trying to stay close. So from here, I'll let the back knee drop down to the earth and just simply bend my tail at the top of them. Check in with my hip on the left side. So release, right leg all the way down. Come up to the hands, come back a little bit. See if I can get my left shoulder underneath the leg. So again, uh, this is an optional uh, place to move this into here. Trying to move the leg on uh, the shoulder. And you get to simply add a little bit of, of forward and back. If you don't have, of course, this move, you can stay down on the elbows. No big deal. If you want to see what it feels like to lengthen the tail in the back, find a pause or a still moment. Curl the toes and just pick up. See what it feels like. Releasing the back knee down, come up to the hands, inhale, and we'll shift over to the right leg. So the right knee is down on the earth, left leg is long. Hands on the earth, take breath. Exhale, drop down to elbows. This is an option. Drop down to chip, another option. You can extend the arms forward and melt the heart down. Inhale to come up to the hands. We'll take some twisting here. So I want you, what I want you to think of is uh, two axes. I don't even know this word, two axes. <laughs> anyway, your spine and your waistline. Think of that as a T. Yeah? So uh, the twist is going to happen about the waistline and the spine. So we are needing to get our hands, shoulders in line with our spine. So we'll take the resisted side twist first. So the left hand, underneath the heart in line with the spine. So when I press down into the earth, I'm just spinning in a straight line around my spine, right? Extending right arm up. So the resistance comes from the leg off to the side. So from here, right arm reaching up, I can thread underneath. Reach for my right foot, drop the shoulder down, head down. And then I have another free arm here, the left one. Just simply move behind the back, get to the inner thigh. So I have a nice twist here. I can move my thigh away and lengthen out my left side just by giving a little push like I'm doing here. Actually, I actually had a little spinal adjustment when I did that. I'm doing right, we'll come back to center. All right, so just check in. How did that feel? Not too bad. Okay. So we'll take the other side twist. So the other side, we have more room, right? Because we're going away from the resistance, like being off to the side. But again, we start with getting in line with our spine. So right hand in line with the spine, we press down into the earth, right? Trying to make a straight line. So there's the straight line. But I have more room to go. So I'm just going to keep just opening. Keep the left leg long and try to keep your left side body long. Then from there, behind the back, catch. See if I can look over, left shoulder, twist of the neck, and be gentle. Hands back down to the earth. So from here, hips back to the right foot. So I'm going to sit back. Left side, I'm just going to have a little extra rotation here. Knee points up, tubs are up. Here's a nice fold, take breath. You can fold forward in the middle, 
or on the leg. Okay? I'm going to choose the middle first and then probably a little bit of the, of the leg, the long leg. Take breath, fold. So you keep awareness of what your left leg is doing it should stay exactly still. The pelvis and the spine and the torso move forward, but nothing else. Inhale, pick up the chest. You can stay exactly where you are, or maybe find the long leg. Fold here. One hand, two hands. You choose. Inhale, we come up, exhale, pull, left leg in. So I'm sitting on my feet in a modified hero's pose. So from here, I'm going to take something with my shoulders just to get a release uh, there since I'm here. So first one, we'll check in with both arms behind the back. So I'm going to take palm, right, open up elbows. Just check in. So if you have the ability to move into prayer hands, here's your chance. Take your prayer hands. See how high up you can get your hands, palms together. So we check in with our wrist, our forearms, shoulders, of course. I'm going to leave my hand, fingers reach back and catch. So if this is a very challenging pose for you, you can move towards uh, taking another twist. Elbow outside. So just going for a twist. So I can push my leg towards the center line while I'm opening up my chest the opposite direction. So here I'm moving my knee to the left and my chest open to the right about my spine, right, about my waistline, on the bone. So you can stay here, if you have bind, you can move into bind. Nice adjustment there. Hands to the earth, lengthen the leg, inhale. To the side, exhale. A little bit of strength for the hips here. So you can stay with fingertips or drop down to palms. Maybe you want to move into opposite balance. Take right arm to the side. Strong core, strong hips. And from here, release the right hand down, left leg with some space. Right toes, point to the back of the mat. Remember the front of the mat is here. Walk over, moving into reverse triangle. So we make our way up with a little bit of lean back, two straight legs, inhale, reach. We go in for the pose. Exhale, peace fingers, trying to wrap the big toe. Tucking the tailbone under a little, eyes up with the top hand, bellies in. Inhale, we come up. Exhale, we're stepping to the back of the mat. Take breath here. And full shoulder opener, hands behind the back, palms together, interlace open, chin to chest. Releasing the hands down to the earth, inhale, lift the chest, left leg steps back for the full line. So we're moving into the other side. Strong legs, belly in. Remember the leg line. So we're trying to stretch out the leg, hip flexor group. 
So strong legs, belly in, interlace. We push up a little bit of a back bend. That adds more to the leg line, right? More stretch. Hands inside. Front leg. So I'm not going to adjust anything. I'm just going to drop down. No elbows. So the knee is going to wing off to the side because it has to make room for my torso. But now the foot, everything. A little bit of stretch from the back leg, knee down. Just let the tail point up, toes up. And checking in with leg on the shoulder. Let's see how that goes. Release the leg in the back up to the hands. Inhale. It's going to draw underneath the leg. Just checking in. So if you want to see what it feels like to tuck the toes in the back under, go right ahead. See if you like it. And we release. We come up to the hands, inhale. We start turning left. The right leg is long now. Toes pointing towards you. On the knee. Take breath. Drop down to elbow. And the melting heart. Reach the arms forward. Come up to the hands, inhale, right hand underneath the heart. So from here, press into the earth, extend. So same thing, we have a twist, spine, waistline. Resist it because the leg is off to the side. Reaching all the way up. Behind the back, catch the inner thigh. Looking over left shoulder. And it'll extend up. So from here, I have more room to grow so I can keep reaching, keep twisting. Oh, I forgot one. I didn't take it down. Well, it's okay. Behind the back, catch the inner thigh, keep twisting here. And now with the arm up, inhale, reach. Exhale, hands down to the earth. Okay. So I'm going to take a pause for a second. I lost the feed on one side. I'm going to stop it. Little rotation of our right leg, knee up, toes up. So now we have three places we can fold. Fold forward. In the center of the two legs are on the leg. I'm going to start in the center and then move to the straight leg. So turn your hips, take breath, and fold. But again, you choose. Mindful of your right leg. And now pick up the chest, holding on top of the straight leg. Inhale, we come up. Exhale, we pull. The right leg and we take sit. So again, sitting in a modified hero's pose. We're going to do the same we did before. One hand on top of the other, but this time we lead with the left hand first. So left hand behind the back first, right hand on top. Arms are both facing behind me. This one hand is inside of the other. Shoulders back. So second time here. Feels pretty good. It's 
So for Gomu Asana, this time Kalpi's arms, leaving the right arm here, palm facing behind, and the left arm is going to reach up. So again, remember this one has a variety. You can just simply bend the arm, just stay with the stretch there, use and release. Releasing the left leg as well, taking twist. So there's a variation of Morichi Asana and F. For the full pose, the leg is off to the side. But I'm going to stay center. So I'm pushing the knee to my right as I open to the left. On the palm. If you have bind, take bind. Unravel, we come back to center. So here's your standing split. We're going to stand up on the left leg, deep fold on the left leg while the right leg is reaching up in the air. We do our best. Inhale, extend up. Right leg bend knee, stack hips. And from here, we move into strength, leg to the side, directly to the side of the hip. Maybe the hands come flat or you stay on the fingertips. If you want to move into back, release the left arm down. Right leg down. So again, we're back to our wide legs. We turn the left toes towards the top of the mat. So we move into reverse triangle. When we come up, it's a little lean back. Two straight legs. Inhale up, lean back. Take the pose. Peach fingers off the big toe in the front or anywhere. It's all good. <clears throat> Yes, I need to stretch a little bit more. Feels good. Inhale, we come up. On the exhale, we spiral the front foot, step into the top of the mat again. Lift the chest, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Reaching up, inhale. Exhale, child's pose. So we come down to sitting. So we went 30 minutes today, a little bit longer, some disruption there. I tried two beads. Hey, all you can do is try. So one leg in front of the other. Just taking a little meditation here. Just winding it down. So we just check in with how we feel. Shoulders feel good. Hips feel good. Body feels good. It's been nice taking all these practices with you. It has allowed me to reconnect back to my yoga practice. I kind of stepped away. My mind wasn't right. I had a baby. I went through a little bit of depression, life changes. You know how it is. You know how it is. If you don't, sometimes it works out that way. It's a very good opportunity to give back. Give back to yourself and give back to others, to you. So I'm hoping that uh, you and many of my fellow teachers who have come, either maybe just finding a practice of yoga since you are at home a little bit more right now, or maybe thinking about your health a little bit more. It's not only just about yoga, it's how you take care of yourself. Everything from the mind, the body, the food, the rest, all these things, um, it's a whole package, whole package. It's all connected, right? 
And as you can tell now, we're all connected. We we're all going through the same thing, uh, but a little differently, right? Because we all have our own uh, lives that we have and different people within our lives. But uh, with some of the good things from being online is that we have this opportunity to give in hopes that maybe something that we do does help. So if anything, I hope maybe some of you have considered your health and maybe now it's a time of uh, aha, right? Being aware of the things that are going on in the world that we need to take better care of ourselves. Everything, food, nutrition, to exercise. Again, it's not only about the yoga. We also need to keep the body strong, right? All these things are important because we um, are not just about what's happening right now. We are about our entire lifespan. And we have um, aging that is either happening now or slowly coming into the fray. And to support the quality of our life, uh, mentally, physically, everything, we have to consider that, right? It's not just a now moment, it's an all moment. So we need to bring more awareness to the food we're putting inside of our body, to the exercise that we're doing for ourselves, uh, to our minds. Do we leave the house every day with our emotional mind on our sleeve, right? telling us to be fearful or telling us to be judging or even telling us not to like ourselves, right? Or are you more uh, able to manage your mind, to move more towards logic, being able to see things for how they truly are without the cloud of emotions, right? To change your perceptions and to make poor decisions. We move from our emotions. So it's just something to think about um, and again, it, it, it all goes together. Yoga, weights, nutrition, meditation, all this, right? Giving time to yourself. Be role models for your family, for your children, um, for your neighbors, for your coworkers, right? We all need to take care of ourselves, right? We need to take care of each other. And if you can help anyone in your world, be a little bit better than they are today, fantastic. Why not? Why not? So hopefully, um, makes you think about things. Maybe uh, you spark change in someone's life today. Why not now? And nothing else to do with your time, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, We'll be doing more practices online. Uh, to remind you, I'm also a, a trainer. So I also have many years of all of this under my belt, uh, you know, to move with. So I know we'll eventually we'll start doing some fitness things as well online. And hopefully that will serve you for those who need a little bit more strength practice in your life. Right? So anyway, until next time, I thank you so much for your time. Hopefully something I'm doing here helps. Until next time, I wanna namaste. Till next time. <laughs>